Good morning. Happy Fabulous Friday, guys. Good morning, good morning. Um, how is your week going? I know that if you are living close to me or in the southeast, it has been raining at least once every single day this week. So, um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do what I do. And, well, you know, you know. I got to go ahead and share this on my personal page, y'all. So just give me a second. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. This one. There we go. It has been shared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So yeah. Happy Friday. Happy 4th of July weekend. It is officially the weekend. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yes. So today's live um, is going to be something pretty quick. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of quick um, makeup looks, but the reason is, is look at y'all. Look at here. It's summertime and it's been busy and it's hot. <laughs> I just don't feel like putting on makeup. So sometimes coming on here and even putting on the minimal amount of makeup is a chore. So, <laughs> so I'm just keeping it real. You know that's how I am with you guys. Um, I just keep things real with y'all. And that's one, one of the real things. That's why. So if I do do a, like, a legit look, it's going to have to be just like a separate time. Or maybe a fabulous. I don't know. From the beginning, when we started Fabulous Fridays, I already told y'all, y'all know what you're going to get. Sometimes I don't even know what, what I'm going to give. <laughs> so today, it is going to be a quick look. Um, I already did my hair. This is day, let me see, I washed my hair on Saturday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Day six, y'all. Day six. And I've literally had my hair up in a messy bun all week. All week. Um, all this was, was some water and, um, a little bit of product. And then I, um, I blow dry, I diffuse it a bit and it's back to life, y'all. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit of product. All right. So I'm going to go into my makeup and, um, and those who want to join can join, but please, if you're watching, comment below. Say hi. I'm gonna put my hair up. Hablando de putting hair up. I'm gonna do it. Alright, so this is how I've been wearing my hair all, all week. Like this. <laughs> yep. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with some primer. I don't think I need it because. My face is already very moisturized, <laughs> but it is what it is. I just put it on to have a little blurring effect. And so the makeup can go onto my primer and not onto my actual skin, if you know what I mean. So yeah, um, let me know, what do you guys, what are you guys plans this weekend? What are you guys planning on doing? For my peoples in the U.S. of A, what you guys doing this weekend? I have to say that because I do have some people watching from different countries that don't celebrate 4th of July like we do over here. So I'm going to put on some, not much, just a little bit of a foundation if I could find my spray which I don't have my spray I guess it's still upstairs so maybe not foundation because we're not going to do foundation today <laughs> well I'll just do it I'll do it whatever I'll do it on a dry brush stop being so picky man stop being so picky okay I'm barely putting anything on. I'm keeping it as sheer. See, look, that's how much 
I just literally tap tap. And this coverage is so good with just a tap tap. And of course, you know, you can build. Wow. So I don't know if you guys, how many of you guys are on my personal page or my personal friends, but those who are, I posted a post, I posted a post, I posted a post yesterday and uh, it was a picture of my chinero, which in English they call it the China cabinet, I think, China cupboard, China cabinet. And um, of it all like, hey, you know, I did it, organization, blah, 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 blah. So I want to talk about that a little bit today because it's something that I'm currently going through. Uh, and it, it's along the lines of mental health and just speaking life into yourself, into your situation. So this week, um, okay, let me scroll back. The past few weeks, I have been dead. <laughs> like, and what I mean about dead, I don't mean obviously i don't mean like legit dead but some days that's how it felt like i was exhausted i had extreme fatigue going on like it was so bad y'all i would and i felt so bad because my dad was visiting and i legit every single day he was here i would wake up stay up for a few hours then take a nap for like four hours, wake up for a few hours and go right back to bed. And it wasn't that I wasn't having enough sleep. I was getting around a good, you know, like seven to eight hours, sometimes nine, ten hours. So it wasn't that I wasn't having enough sleep, y'all. It was just fatigue. And I was so hard on myself because I legit could only do maybe one task. Like before he came, I'll, I got I to gotta do this pantry. I got I to gotta organize this pantry. I got to clean it. So I did a pantry and then I was down. After I finished the pantry, I slept for four hours. Woke up. I don't even think I made dinner. It was rough. It was rough, 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 rough. And um, if it wasn't for having such an amazing husband and support system at home, you know, because my husband, when when I'm down for the count, when I'm going through fatigue or whatever you want to call it. My husband does not make me feel guilty about it. He doesn't make me feel, you know, sad or whatever. He actually says, okay, today's one of those days. What are we going to have for dinner? And I'm like, look, I ain't cooking. He's like, all right, bet. Let's go ahead and get something. He won't cook, but, he, you know, <laughs> he'll go get something. Hey, Jessica. Hey, hey. Good morning. If you're still, I think you're afternoon probably already, but hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. I'm just talking a little bit about what I've been going through lately. So, um, so yeah, I have an amazing support system. And so I thank God for that. Um, but so that's how it's been. This past year and a half, two years has been a journey, has been a lot of stretching, a lot of growth, a lot of just knowing Knowing myself, getting to know myself, my, you know, my tics, my, my quirks, my, um, my triggers, you know, going through previous traumas, like, oh, snap, this is actually a trauma response and working on that, trying to dive into that. Um, so it's been, it's been exhausting, honestly, I'm gonna be straight up, straight up. It's exhausting. Okay. Inner healing, inner healing is exhausting. It just, it just is. It just is. And I think that's why a lot of people don't want to go through it, even though it's very necessary. But a lot of people don't want to go through it just for the mere fact that it is painful and exhausting. Um, you know, and there's still some things that I personally have put a block on that I'm not going to process because I feel like I don't, I personally don't have the time to process it right now. I don't have the time or the wherewithal to sit down and just cry it out. I feel like I have too much stuff going on. I have too much stuff to do. Um, you know, 
You have to say something. Well, you could type it out, but if you want, you could leave me a message if it's more private. It's up to you. Um, so, so yeah, I just, you know, there's just certain things that you know you're going to break down. And you don't know how you're going to recover from that breakdown. So that's where I am with like one or two things. But, um, but yeah, inner healing, it sucks. It just sucks. It's necessary for growth. Okay, mama. It's necessary for growth. It's necessary, um, for, for one to be complete and happy and fulfilled and to truly live life the way they're meant to. Because what happens is when we don't process things and when we don't heal from things, it turns into blockages and it turns into, you know, just stepping stones or whatever it's called, like, like blocks, literally blocks, blockades from reaching your full potential. So I know I have to, I know I have to let it run its course. I know I actually have to open up the book and, and revisit these things and process it emotionally, spiritually, mentally, all that jazz in order for me to really soar, you know, and to go to the next level. The Lord has already told me that he wants to do so many things, but at the end of the day, it's up to me, you know? And so many times, you know, you hear in the church saying, oh, it's the devil that's stopping you. No, a lot of times it's you stopping yourself, bruh. <laughs> you just stopping yourself. From the blessing, the, the Lord's blessing right there, ain't no devil doing it to you. Ain't no devil keeping you from that blessing. You yourself keeping yourself from your blessing. Um, so, but I recognize that and I know I have to, I know, I know I have to go through that very soon. But right now I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yay, Nikki. Ah, she is so adorable. She is so cute. Yes, 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 Nikki. I do. I kind of, you know, I see the pictures and I do. I do see them and they are so cute. She's adorable. Smiling and I can't believe she's three months. She is big. She is so big and so adorable. Oh my God. God bless you guys. So yeah, okay, so that was a few weeks ago. Exhaustion, fatigue, tired, like not able to do anything. And so um, so this week, I don't know, I just got like this burst of energy. Um, I'll be honest with y'all. I'm kind of waiting for the ball to drop. I know that's bad. I should never act like that, right? You should always like be like, woohoo, yay. But... It, I've been going through, sorry guys, I'm looking for this brush I just finished using and now I can't find it. Um, I've been going through this up and down with fatigue that this is like kind of, I, I'm, I'm scared that it, it's kind of like a, a high before the fall, you know what I'm saying? So I'm constantly having to fight that feeling, emotion of, okay, when is the ball going to drop? And it's just me being honest. Uh, it's just me being honest and vulnerable with y'all. That's just where I am right now. And it is what it is. Uh, so I'm trying to take advantage of this burst of energy. So let me see. Uh, let me see. What did I do first? I, oh, what did I do first? I'm pretty excited about myself. I'm pretty excited. And I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, so the first thing I did, I went to the store and I went grocery shopping. And, um, which I do every two weeks, but I went grocery shopping and in the grocery shopping, there was some, um, kitchen organization things on clearance. So if you know me, I don't really buy anything full price. <laughs> okay. So that's why I, <laughs> I may have a lot of mismatched organization, like buckets and stuff in my house because I began to mug when it's on sale. <laughs> so I am, um, I got like a few just to see how I would like it. And I don't organize my kitchen drawers. Yes, I have a lot of baking tools, a lot of cooking tools because I'm constantly in the kitchen, constantly cooking something, baking something, making something. 
So I have two drawers full of cooking utensils and little knickknacks for baking. And then I have a, a uh, another small one for um, that was full of like uh, measuring spoons, measuring cups. And I have multiple sets. I have I had to get rid of one, but I got two sets um, because again, I bake a lot and I don't like to wash and dry just so I can use it, use the same measuring cup again, you know, so I like to have two sets. And so, but it was just a mess. It was horrible. I couldn't find anything. I would get so frustrated because my husband's the one that puts the, the clean dishes away. So I get so frustrated. Like, Babe, where's this? He's like, I put it in the drawer. No, you didn't. It's not in there. And then I have to dig through. And then finally I find it. Like, oh, my bad. It was in the drawer. <laughs> that was how our life was. So I got the, I got the dang thing. And, um... And it looks so nice, y'all. So that was one thing I did. Oh, and I also deep cleaned the floors, my kitchen floors. Now I have a really big house compared to the house that I had before. So cleaning is a chore in and of itself. Just the thought of cleaning it is a chore. I start sweating just the thought of cleaning. So I also like deep mopped the floor. I mean deep, deep mopped the floor which that's a huge feat in and of itself. So I'm proud of myself for that. Yes, that was when I made the post of, am I the only one like who sweats a gallon when they're mopping? It was ridiculous. It was like I had to mop up my sweat. Ugh, I hate mopping. If you hate mopping, please, please put something below. Put in the comments below that you hate mopping just so I know I'm not by myself. I hate doing floors. When it comes to mopping, sweeping, vacuuming, if it has anything to do with floors, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Give me laundry every day. I will do laundry all day, every day. That's, I'll do it. Let's switch, okay? You come to my house and you do my floors and I go to your house and I do your laundry, okay? Me and my sister used to do that. But then I moved far away. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I'm very proud of myself. And then uh, it was on Tuesday, no, mentira, Wednesday. Wednesday, I had decided to, you know, I was like, you know, I got enough strength. I have enough whatever. So let me go ahead and continue this trend while I have the energy. So I'm just going to go house, uh, house by house, room by room, and deep clean and declutter. That's why it's taking me like one to two days to do each room because I am decluttering. Oh, oh, oh. That's not fun, y'all. You know, I'm, okay. So the past two days, I was decluttering my formal dining room. I had so much crap up in that mug. I threw away like a whole kitchen trash bag of stuff. I have a basket full of things that I'm going to be donating to Goodwill. Because I got into the habit, um, y'all yeah, know I, I, you know, I'm open about mental health and my issues, right? So when I would have the, when I went through the time of my depression and and or fatigue, I legit like I didn't put stuff away. I just put piles and piles and things. Oh, this is gonna be for Google. Poop pile. Oh, this is gonna be for this. Okay, uh, pile. So I had these little piles and my family who came, who comes to visit, they, they're so sweet. They see it, but they don't say anything. Um, so in my formal dining room, I had like two, three piles of crap of just stuff that I had to go through. And a formal dining room is supposed, it's not supposed to be full of stuff. It's supposed to be just bare and, you know, simple and whatever, right? And the bad thing is, is that's like the first thing you see when you enter my house. You see the living room, but if you turn to the left, it's my formal dining room. So I had boxes full, like overflowing on this side. And then my china cabinet was all a disarray. It was just, it was a hot mess. It really was. Um, so that took one, that took two days. I was going to put it to three, but I was like, nah, let me stop being lazy. I can do this. I can do this. So yesterday it was rough. Yesterday I was, 
um, procrastinating like whoa. And I opened up to my husband. I was like, hey, babe, I need to get this done. But I'm seriously overwhelmed because what happened was I, um, I emptied out my china closet or cabinet, whatever you want to call it. I call it chinero. I emptied that out. And my entire table was full of stuff. I'm like, how in the world am I going to organize this back in? Like, what even? I have to clean this out. I got to clean everything that's in there. I got to, it was just like, oh. So I opened up to my husband. He's like, you have this. You got this. You're good at this. So he was just speaking life into me. So I went ahead and made myself a cup of coffee and I just tackled it. And I'm so proud. And so I had to take the picture and, and post it. But, um, so yeah, that's what, those, that those are the things I've been going through this week and these past few weeks. <laughs> it's been a journey. It has been a journey, but it's been a good one. You know, it's a journey of growth. It's a journey of, uh, just giving yourself grace. You know, I, that's one thing I had to learn and I'm still learning is to give myself grace. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be, um, I don't have to look like the things I do. It doesn't have to look like everyone else, how they do it, you know? And, um, and I have to be okay with that. It's okay. And this is not the right place. I have to be okay with that. So that's, that's pretty much what I've been dealing with. Um, and that's, that's the life of a person that's real. <laughs> Can we please stop faking, you guys? Can we please stop faking that we got it all together? Like, for real. Like, for real, for real. Because I know I don't. But by the grace of God, by his goodness and his righteousness, I am made righteous. So... And I am totally, look, so for my eyeshadow, I put on that, that pink eyeshadow. I literally used um, blush. And then now I'm using an eyebrow. Oh, this is what happens when I just talk. I don't know what I'm doing. I wasn't going to do this. It was just supposed to be quick, remember? It was just supposed to be quick. This is what happens when I talk. Like, where am I going? Oh, wait, I am going somewhere. I'm going to Sam's. I got to go get some more meat. Probably want some chuletas. And since I've been cooking all week because I have the energy to do so, we already ran out of carne. That's a good thing. So, I will just, just tell you. Okay. Yes, go ahead, girl. Okay, where's the eyes? Congratulations, mama. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. Oh my goodness. More babies. I love babies. Oh my god. I'm, I'm very happy for you. Congratulations, girl. Okay, so my eyelashes are getting in the way. And they're making little feather marks. So I can go old school. I know. I am so happy for you, girl. Oh, my gosh. Que bendición. 
¡Qué bendición! Tell your husband I say congratulations. That just ugh, makes me think. So I was also, I've also been deep cleaning my laptop from uh, countless of uh, vi videos and pictures of the kids and family, whatever. And I've been going through them, seeing them when they were babies. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to have a baby in the house anymore. Bella's my last one. And she's turned, she's already six. And she told me, Mommy, next year I'm going to be seven. Like, yeah, I know. I know you're going to be seven. Oh, my babies are all leaving. All growing. So cher I say that, Jessica, to cherish your baby when he or she comes. Cherish the moment. Love on that baby. And don't let anyone tell you that you are... I'm yoneando the baby or, you know, uh, what's that? How do you say it in English? That you're, um, you're making the baby, uh, you know what I'm talking about, chango, whatever, spoiled. That you're spoiling the baby. Mm-mm. No, just love that baby. And every cry means something. I wish, I wish I knew that with my firstborn. Speaking about trauma, he had to release some of his too from me. Because I sure enough wasn't perfect. And I'm not. Especially when I was young. I followed. I thought that I had to model the typical Latino way of raising your child. And with you know, spankings and loud yelling and demanding respect and feeling feeling threatened by a child if they didn't listen to me. Oh, yeah, it didn't work. Do they actually kind of match? Uh, they actually kind of match, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've learned so much in parenting since the first, my first child. It's even my my older kids. They notice it. They're like, "Oh, well, Bella has it good. She has it easy." It's like, "Yeah, well, we learned a lot." We learned a lot. <sighs> My poor babies. They had to be our guinea pigs. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and add some cheeky up here. I could have added some color corrector in this area because I was a little red. But it is what it is. I was I was supposed to do a quick look, remember? Remember that? Instead. I'm here putting all this stuff on when it's supposed to be a quick look. This red right here, that's from me. That's for my cheeks. So next time when I do a full face, I have to apply a color corrector or just more foundation, more coverage. Okay, now what I don't have is my mascara, my good mascara. Yep, you learn as you go. I see me more and me, huh? Um, but also learn from other people's mistakes. 
that's something I did as well. Learn from other people's mistakes, learn from other people's successes. Get a good, um, I'm personally, me and my husband were taking a parenting class at church. And one of the questions they ask is, how many of you guys have a mentor in parenting to help you? I'm like, what's that? <laughs> like, I never heard of having a mentor for parenting. Um, no, I just know. But um, if you can find somebody that you can trust and that you see by their fruit and their children that they've done a really good job as parents, by all means, you know, use them as a resource. Use them as a resource if you have any questions, if you have any struggles, you know, use your resources because you're not alone. I, I promise you anything that you're going through, there is someone else that has been through it. Um, let me use one of these. These mascaras, I guess. I guess. All right, here we go. The mascara time. That means we're almost dying. I just realized I did not put on any setting powder. I am not doing unique. Uh, my makeup, I have not launched it yet. Beauty by Design Cosmetics has not been launched yet. I'm planning on launching it for the fall. So having a fall line to launch. And it is going to be a limited, um, limited time type thing. Oh, crap. Anyway, I'll leave that there. A limited time type of thing going on. Just so I can have a feel, just make sure that the website is working um, and if I have to make any tweaks. So I'm, I'm going to do a soft launch first and then do like a major launch. So that's so far, that's the plan. We're still on track for that. I'm not sure. Sh the, the hope is to launch by the fall, but it may have to be pushed to the winter. Um, again, another thing I am learning is to give myself grace. And really to listen to the Lord into how and when and why and what it's going to look like. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. We shall see. You know, it's also falls on finance finances as well. Um... But again, if the Lord has called me to do this, then he will supply. And he's just going to have to figure out how. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to work out. But my God's a big God. So I can't put any, I can't put him in a box, right? If he say he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Oh, someone's coming downstairs. See, Angie, is that you? <gasps> it's Bella. Do you want to say hi to everybody? I'm almost done. Hi. hi. She got that summer hair going on, y'all. <laughs> Mommy? Yes, baby. After, after this, um, can I use your computer so I could play my, my, um, my 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 video game please what do y'all think what do you guys think should I, should I let her use my laptop to to play her roblox after this after this what do you guys think let's see what they say 
Schiebern, das war wohl. <lacht> Let's see. You did a really good job in asking me. <laughs> Look, we're on screen. Mm -hmm. We are on screen. We're live. Now we're on the we're on, on the TV. Facebook. We're on Facebook. <gasps> then everybody go watch us. Mm -hmm. On TV. On Facebook. On the phones. Oh. <laughs> or computers. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. I want to put on some blush. You want to put on some blush? Yeah. This is really bright blush. This is a sparkly blush. Ooh, I want the sparkle. Right now, we're going to do a sparkly blush. Here she goes. She's taking over. Ever since she was little, she's always taken over. <laughs> always. Here. And by the way, I have six. What did I tell you? Here. So you put the blush up here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see right here. The cheekbones. Go. Cheek. See, smile. And then go, go up like that. You did. You, did. you do it. I taught you how to do it. This is kind of weird. <laughs> is this how you really do it? Yeah. I don't want really to see it. Watch out for my eyes. <laughs> I think there's some in my eyes. Well, then if you're doing it in your eyes, then you're doing it too close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm touching my eyelashes. Well, your eyelashes are super long. <laughs> no, I can't see it. Yeah. There. You see it? <laughs> Yeah. 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 There you go. Yay. <laughs> Look at me. So pretty. So pretty. Alright, let me um put on some lip gloss and then I'll be done and then you could use my laptop. Yeah. There's there's a game. I'm using that, Abby's lip gloss. There's, there's a game that yeah. that yeah. I've been that I've been using on your laptop. And it's like Minecraft version, but it's actually in Roblox. Ah. And okay. it's like Minecraft Roblox. But it's not really like Minecraft. It just let you build and you add stuff and you take care of stuff and <laughs> so I've been playing that game. I've been building my house and I and I started as a baby. You could do a baby as a parent. So when you're a baby, you could build your own house. But when you're a parent and you take care of a baby. The baby can't help you build the 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 house. Yeah, it's really hard. Your hands are like <sighs> hurt. So that's why I have strong hands. That I could type really fast. I don't type, but I do. <laughs> and and I put every single block. And I and I got a door, but the door doesn't work for me, um, because it's this way, mm -hmm. and I'm try this way, and I'm trying to do it this way. So yeah, so I put the 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 trap doors on each side, and I could I could look up and look that and look up that and press open and close. From the trap doors, yeah. So that way you can, you don't have to be trapped. You can get out whenever you want. But it looks like that you're trapped. Yes. Smart. That's why they call it trap doors. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that makes sense. Ah, 
Um, I don't know. I, I may or may not go live tomorrow. Not sure. I do know that every Friday at 1130, I do do my Fabulous Fridays. So, I definitely, I am Guys, on here. Guys, so Every so Friday. Um, <laughs> so that's about it, guys. I've had to put my hair down. And by the way, I love you. Aww, it's so sweet. <laughs> she should come up um, on my lives more often than not, huh? Mm. She's she's a natural. And, and I but have, she will take control, yeah. She will take control. And 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 I have my own vanity. She does. She does have. I got her vanity for Christmas, right? Yeah. All right. So you want to stay with me so we could say a prayer over them? Uh-huh. Do you want to say the prayer at this time? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Let's just it's good really quickly. You know me and my prayers. Okay. Ready? Ninja Let's do it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us to, to spend time together, chatting with one another. Good job, baby. And I just declare uh, blessing and favor and supernatural healing, supernatural abundance over every single person that is watching either live or on the replay. Lord, I pray that you listen, um, that you hear their prayers, and I know you hear their prayers, but that the answer comes swiftly. And that, um, and that they will recognize that you are awesome and you are such a such a good daddy. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. No, she wants to say something. Um. So, so I hope they can't see. I I hope that everyone's feeling good. And if you're sick, then then ask God to feel you better. And and then he will hear you someday. And 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 I love you guys and 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 um I love you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys do want to have an opportunity or the option to bless this company, Beauty by Design Cosmetics. In the description, um, if you scroll down in the description, in the description, um, you are given two options to um, to help to help a sister out. So um, again, there's no pressure; it's completely up to you on how you feel. But I appreciate everything, even every like and share and comment helps, and that to me is just so awesome. And I appreciate you guys. Um, yes, I see your nostrils. <laughs> so remember you guys, um, and know that you are beauty by design and, um, and you yeah, have you a blessed day. Awesome. And you are awesome. Have a blessed day guys. Thanks for watching. And I love you.